Hello and welcome to the WRW News application. Thank you so much for your interest in joining our news team. Here at WRW News, we hold ourselves to the highest standard of excellence and are looking for team members to model our Williams values and be a positive leader within our Wildcat community. You have been selected by your teachers for consideration to join our WRW News team. We want you to have the best chance of success so today, I'm going to walk you through our application process. On pages two and three, you'll find the written application. On the written application, you are asked to complete the information as professionally as you can in the areas that are blue. So you'll see this first one, you're supposed to put your last name. So you click and then you can type and your first name, teacher. And then there are some questions here that have a Y or an N. On those questions, you're supposed to be typing in either yes or no. Now, read these questions carefully. Once you join our WRW News team, we will be speaking with your parents and getting their permission for you to join. However, we're looking for candidates that are responsible. So we want you to speak to your parents first and let them know that you're interested in joining the news team. Answer all the questions on slide two, then move on to slide three. On slide three, we ask some questions about education. Now, one of the questions is, what school are you currently attending? And you should be able to very easily say what school you're attending now. Um, we also want to know what grade you're in and if you've attended any other schools. There is a section called skills and experience. And in that section, we want to know, do you have any other work experience or do you have any other responsibilities, maybe at home or in your classroom that you think would make you a good candidate for the position? Also, we want to know, why are you looking to work with WRW News? Type your answers in the blue boxes here. There is another section called references. Now, we would like to know, is there anyone that can attest or vouch for your responsibility, your abilities that would make you a great candidate for a news anchor, someone that knows you? It could be your teacher, it could be a parent, it could be a family member, maybe a friend, but think, you want to think of references that are people that know you very well and know your work ethic. The last section is very important. This is where you put your signature. Now, because this is digital, you won't be able to sign it with pen. Instead, what we're asking you to do is type in the box and then you're gonna type in your name. Then you're gonna pick a font. So the rest of this, I don't want you changing the font, leave it the same, but on this last part for the signature, you want this to be personal. This is your way of saying, yep, I understand and I'm signing it. So you're gonna pick a font and then that's it and just put the date. So you're only changing the font for your signature. So pick a, a font that looks similar or that you feel is representative of you. After you've completed the written application, you will be completing a video audition. Before we even start with the video audition, I would like for you to make sure wherever you're going to be recording your video is quiet, the lighting is good. You'll see that right now you can see my face pretty well. That's good lighting. Earlier I had the blinds open and it was so bright on my face. Or if I was to turn this light off up here, it would be too dark and my face would be all shadows. So you want it to be quiet, you want the lighting to be good, and you don't want there to be too much going on in the background. You don't want to have a messy room in the background. You want it looking nice and professional. 
So find a nice area, maybe just sit up against your bed, have the wall behind you and just make sure that it's nice and quiet. Now, I'll go ahead and give you a moment to find a nice area to record your video audition. So if you'd like, push pause and get your area set up. Okay, so now you're ready to record your video audition. I'm gonna talk to you about what that process looks like. So if you look here on slide four, there are uh, there is a script for you to read. There is blanks here. So right here, you would put your name, and here today is, give us the date or the day of the week that it is. Um, and then at the end, you're gonna say, that's it for today, I'm blank. So say your name again, and blank. This is your closing. How would you like to close out your audition or close out your news report? I usually just say, thank you for joining in, have a wonderful day, something simple but you can make it as creative as you want. But think about when you're watching the news, how do people end the news report? So just like you would be doing if you're a WRW news reporter, you're gonna be reading your script and recording yourself. Before you record yourself, I would read through this script a couple times and maybe even just type your name here and the day here and your name here and the closing here. That way, you know what you're gonna say whenever you see those blanks. And once you're ready and you feel like you've practiced it several times and you know exactly what you're gonna say, you are going to click on this Flipgrid link. So I'm gonna click on the Flipgrid link. And then I'm going to record a response. Now, you will see that the script is here but what I'm gonna do, because I like it bigger, is I'm gonna click record, and as soon as I click record, I'm gonna go back over to the script. I'm gonna wait a moment, though, because I want the recording to um, not cut out the beginning. So when I get over here, I'm gonna take a pause, take a deep breath, then start. So click record, take a deep breath, click over here, Look at my script and start. Good morning and welcome to the WRW News. And I would keep reading through the script. When I'm all done, I'm gonna go over here and click stop. Then I'm gonna click next. Now, when I click next, I'm gonna show you what I do, so watch my mouse, what I do to trim the beginning part of the, the video so that it's only the part that um, has me reading the script. Click over here. Look at my I made these blue bars I clicked on the video and I moved these blue bars in from the end or in from the beginning and in from the end to pick that part that's the only part of me reading the script now obviously yours is going to be longer because you're reading the entire script but mine is just an example so when I click confirm then it's going to play for me the little part and I want to make sure that's exactly what I want Perfect. So now I'm going to click next. You can type in your name here. If you'd like to take a selfie, you may, and then go ahead and click submit. And that's it. Once it's uploaded, you are all done. Then I'm going to go back to the application. And you can go ahead, this will be posted on our WRW News Google Classroom that if you have an application you will have been invited to. So just make sure you're turning this in there and you are all done. Again, thank you so much for your interest in joining our news team. We're wishing you nothing but success. I can't wait to see your video auditions. I know they're gonna be great. 
Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll be seeing you later. Bye.